Greetings, Internets. Thinker2112 here at 1744 Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, the 19th of January, 2013. Let's play Okami. I really don't have any idea what I'm doing here. Maybe I should just head in the general direction of north. That seems like a good idea. So, last time I got into uh, the area of Kamui. Which I have no idea whether I'm pronouncing correctly. So yes, this guardian sapling looks a bit out of place here, you know, it's such a, an obvious sign of spring in a land where everything else is winter. But you need to revive them, obviously, except if someone else revives them for you, like Waka did. Who's this guy? I didn't notice this guy before. Well, PCs give good business. Why did you set up business here, though? Look, I don't buy because I have an obligation to support you. I buy because I need stuff. Important to note if you're, uh, if you come across some, someone like, uh, Stan from Monkey Island. That's one of the tricks he tries to use on you in the first game. Saying something about, you know, supporting his kids through po college. I was looking at porcelain, that's why I said, through college. Of course, it never. Of course, it it may occur to you. Wait a minute. Are there any colleges on this island at all? To which the answer is probably no. Whoa! Major ice physics. I didn't think of that. Oh, and I missed this too. Wonder what flowers or trees. More likely trees. This will generate when I wipe out these guys. Okay, power slash not entirely useless here. I haven't gotten any holy artifacts in a while. I guess the game doesn't really give them to you. You have to buy them. Which means I have to collect more demon things. Wait, what did I just... Oh! I didn't know I had that attack. I guess that's from my secondary weapon. Alright, round two. Wait, have I seen this guy before? Oh, yes, I have. It's the second form of, uh, of Yetta. I mean, Flizetta. I feel like this, like, in, in Final Fantasy 13, enemies have a stagger gauge. I feel like some enemies in this game need that, too. Can't see when it's ready to be burned. Right, I can also hurt enemies with my second jump now. Wait, I see the fire. Let me use it. Why can't I use the fire? Okay, there we go. Dagger! I love that thing. Yeah, I'm just pressing Z and she does that, like, kick thingy with the sword. Oh, now it's pissed. Speaking of which... Oh, come on, my... my... nunchuck is not working properly. Where'd the demon thing... oh, there it is. Ooh, green level god, but I haven't seen that in a while. Yep, typical rating for me. A few trees. 
Ooh, lots of crates. I like that. I can upgrade something. Oops. Yeah, let's get another ink pot. A golden ink pot helps a lot, but it can only go so far. Especially when I'm fighting these battles with so many, where I have to use brush techniques so many times in a row. I have a feeling 10 is probably the max for ink pots. I'm up to 8 now. Yosh Pet and Weep Kier. Well, I have no idea what either of those places are, so I'll go to... Uh, and I forgot which one was which already. Weep Kier, I guess. I love those floating signs. There is no in-game reason why they should be there, but there is every player-friendly reason why they should be there. Why are there so many bullseyes? It's unusual that there's not one but two ways to go from uh, a new place. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, snowball. I wonder what I can do with that. Alright. Might as well save, even though I'm only about seven minutes in for this session. Nothing else. If nothing else, it creates a new uh, destination for my uh, Veil of Mist. Yes, and I now have a head of steel. Wait, what? You won't let me read the sign? That's dickish of you. Better things to do like uh, revive this clover. Which really should not be here. Probably too cold anyway, but I suppose I have, you know, magic. Whatever. At least it's supposed to be. That, that snowball makes me wonder whether there's something I should be doing with it. I love that I can break huge rocks with my head now. So I started this session, or I was preparing to start the session just as my dad was leaving for a concert. He's a violinist. That's his job. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take you guys too. But it's so often that he comes back because he's forgotten something. I knew I shouldn't start the recording until a few minutes after he left. It's like someone's abandoned his post. Now, of course, logically, this is RPG logic. You can steal stuff from someone's house without any consequences, but if there's a shop and no one's there, you can't steal anything from it. Okay, so apparently these signs are all, like... They all repel Isu. Maybe they all have a sub somebody else's problem field around them. Yeah, so, and sure enough, my dad, although he didn't come back in the... Alright, hold on here. I need to... I don't know why this happens so often. But I just... Like, the, the control stick is not calibrated correctly when I start. Sorry about that. So he didn't actually come back in, but he did He did call. He asked me to turn on the, the black light that we have in front of our house. The reason why we have one is for the Baltimore Ravens, because their, their main color is purple. As of now, which is, you know, 
game will have been played by the time the video goes up. But as of now, they are going into the AFC Conference Championship, which is the game right before one of the two games right before the Super Bowl. And this is a pretty small area, it looks like. So if they win, they're, they'll if they win the game tomorrow, they'll go to the Super Bowl. The odds are against them, but the odds were also against them last week, and they won. Why can't I read any of the signs, Isun? You're being a jerk. My mom, who's a teacher, dreads facing the... Of course, this one's locked, too. Dreads facing the disappointed, her disappointed students, you know, after the Ravens lose. Of course, if they don't lose, then everyone will be really excited because the Ravens will be going to the Super Bowl, but yeah. I probably talk about sports a lot more than most Let's Players do. Huh? Oh, I think this is a new kind of animal. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any of these before. Will that complete my... Well, won't complete the animal tone, but it will... be the last new animal. Maybe I just need to drink more water earlier in this session, and that'll stop my voice from getting too tired. Or maybe I just need to talk less, and use less anguish. Interesting that the field is so green in this scene when I'm in the middle of a frozen land. This music is like kind of sad, almost almost as sad as you'd hear in an area that is still cursed. Here, that does not sound at all Japanese. Alright, that's a long-term quest. I know because it's below the other one. Scamps. I suppose you could call them scamps. Yeah, that's all the animals. All the types of animals, I should say. Oh, they really give you a chance to get some good praise around here. Already up to 110 and I just upgraded something. So is this place a dead end? No, it doesn't look like it is. Nope, this is not the way up. Can I make this tree bloom? I mean, I would understand if it didn't work, you know, since it's the middle of winter and all. But, you know, I have to try this a few times, since sometimes my brush techniques don't work. Transition between day and night is so sudden in this game. Alright, why can't I figure out where is the way on would be? This isn't it. But it might be something interesting. Oh wait, maybe it is. Well... Something here I haven't done. But maybe because I couldn't see this since it was daytime. Oh, goody. I was hoping it was that. Number 
82. Okay. Third out of four in this area. Oh, I chose, well, I chose the right place to go first in terms of the stray bead order, because that's Kamui, and this is the one right after it. And if I'm putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable, well, sorry, I just don't know what the correct pronunci pronunciation is. I think it should be Kamui, but I'm not sure.